Well, there once was a virus so sneaky and nasty, it caused all the people to stay safe inside. It was evil and no one saw that it was coming, but then it arrived and the people all died. So a panic erupted and people all went out and brought on the products that once were piled high. It was toilet rolls, minced beef and hand sanitizer and pasta and anything else they could buy. The shelves in the shops were all empty and barren cause people bought ten when they only need one. In the blink of an eye came a swarm of locusts who grabbed what they could and then they were gone. Well, the government stepped in and we were all told to stay far apart and to stay inside. Don't go into work unless you're essential. We're trying to stop this plague spread far and wide. So we battened down hatches and drew back our drawbridge, took our laptops home and set VPNs live. Set up virtual desktops and diverted phone calls to help all the companies we work for survive. But it isn't all roses, there's some that can't do it. There's some that must work on the front line of health. And there's others like drivers and posties and farmers maintaining their families and the country's health. And there's some have been laid off and others are furloughed to spend all their days all locked up inside. We're all flattening the curve so the hospitals can manage and the doctors and nurses can keep us alive. So it means we're all home with our loved ones and families trying not to fight and to keep all souls calm. We're all locked up together playing Monopoly and cribbage safe in the knowledge we won't come to harm. And if we're all sensible following orders, the curve will be flattened, the hospitals cope. And while some may not make it, we hope it's not many, the rest of us carry on in a state of good hope. So I've tidied the garage, the loft and the greenhouse, CDs are in order, pressure washed the patio. I have alphabetized all my books on the shelf and my Christmas cards written and ready to go. I have dyed my beard purple, put my bins out in a ball gown, joined the Lone Morris festivals along with my friends. I have videoed the family doing lots of daft things which will be brought out to blackmail them when this thing ends. But the moral of the story is we're all in this together. We're all standing firm doing what's needed and when it's all over and finished we'll all be thankful and toast our good health in the pubs once again.